is a Hare Krishna. My weak spirit, no discipline. I'm a starter, not a finisher. Oh God, it's high. But is it high enough? What did that suicide website say? For a fall into water to be fatal, it needs to be at least 250 feet. Yeah, it's high enough. Okay, Harry. One, two, wait. What else did that website say? Only 95 to 98% of the falls at that height are fatal. What do I mean the 2 to 5 percent not fatal cohort? <laughs> It'd just be my like some do-gooder and rescue me and fish me out. <laughs> oh look, there's a boat. What if I hit the boat and survive? I'm paralyzed! <laughs> and they make me pay for passage. <laughs> oh fuck! There's so many things to consider. I've got to get this right! Um. <laughs> I've got it. I'll make sure I fall on my head. That'll increase the chance of fatal impact. Oh, but what if I do a belly flop? Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, but only for a moment. Okay. Don't do that. Concentrate, Harry. Mm, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. Ah, oh, fuck. It's no use. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Do you mind if I share your ledge? I'm not really sure I want to do this now. It's quite high, isn't it? It's rude to stay, you know. You scraped your knee. And your scar is run. Are you alright? No! Oh, don't cry, don't cry, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think orange suits you better. It's saffron. <laughs> <laughs> it's not orange, it's saffron. Hey, you get you, Mr. Fashionista. <laughs> it's not orange, it's saffron. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you got to be somewhere? <laughs> Take 
<laughs> you can't play that thing, can you? You're embarrassed. It's not that. It's just that when my mother wasn't being a palmist, she was a drummer. She bullied me to learning all the percussion instruments. You know, so I had it drummed into me. And... <laughs> very droll. Or should I say very drum roll? <laughs> <laughs> You're not from around here, are you? Queensland. <laughs> Tambourine Mountain. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> so how long have you been a Hare, Harry? <laughs> Ten years. By the way, you have the most beautiful eyes. Thanks. So, um, how come you lost your faith? This might sound strange. But after 10 years in the cult, I started the lust after forbidden fruit. Every time we marched down the street, I'd have this overwhelming urge to dive into the Maccas or the Hungry Jacks or the KFC. It's driving me crazy! I know exactly what you mean. I was a vegetarian for 12 years, and then one Christmas, I had a craving for duck. Just like that. Just like crack, you mean? What? <laughs> Don't give up your day job, Harry. What a pair we are. Are you serious about jumping? I was. From starting to see the light. Oh. Wow! <laughs> wow. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, can I buy you dinner? Really? You want to buy me dinner? Yeah, I would. I think I like you, Harry. This isn't a rebound thing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It could be, if you want it to be. Oh, I could murder a steak, and a martini, and a pack of the smokes. Oh, oh still break up. Oh, shit, shit, forget the smokes. I'll just settle for the steak and the martini. You shouldn't pretend to be something you're not just because some person you like doesn't like that thing that you like. See, this is why I joined the Hurry Christmas in the first place. <laughs> this whole day and night, it's just too complicated. Well, that's true. That's why I became a mistress. It's much easier. Married men are so grateful for a bit on the side, they make it almost a pleasure to shag them. <laughs> right? They buy you things. And that's why you went with a married man? Because he bought you things? Well, yes. Plus, I was in love with him. Or in love with all the attention he showered over me. Oh, but Harriet, you're so beautiful. You shouldn't be somebody's number two. You should be somebody's number one. You'd be my number one. Oh, oh, oh Harry. I'm really starting to like you. You're ever so nice. I don't want to be nice. Nice men don't get anywhere. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're here with me, aren't you? Yes. Oh. <laughs> but we're hardly a great catch for people, are we? <laughs> well, maybe we are a great catch for each other. Maybe it's fate that brought us together like this. You don't fate. You don't really believe that, do you? Maybe. Maybe I don't want to believe it. I thought you didn't believe in anything. Oh, Harry, I think we all need to believe in something. And right now. I'm starting to believe in a second chance. I'm starting to believe that I want to live. You know what? Me too. Do you still want to buy me dinner? Sure. <laughs> and that kiss thing was kind of nice. We do that again. Sure, Harry. <laughs> <laughs>